Hey, babe, can I join you? We don't have to talk about anything if you don't want to. No, we can just lay here and look up at the stars. It is a little chilly, though, so I hope you don't mind me cuddling your arm. Your hair is getting long. Mm, I could cut it for you. Maybe a little off the side. <laughs> it is cute, though. What? I look at stars all day. Can you blame me for looking at you instead? Oh, so mysterious and brooding. Maybe not. <laughs> You're thinking about the heat death of the universe again, aren't you? Would you believe me if I said it's going to be okay? Oh, I know that's not really what you want to hear. How can it be okay that the universe is destined to fall apart? Well, it will be. Things fall apart perfectly for the next step. And it's all going to be so beautiful. You'll get to see it. Mmm, what's that? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about that. It's almost time. Mm. Picking the right day when the sky would be clear. When you would be stargazing at the perfect moment, some time before the beginning and after the end. The crest of the Widow Shins, a moment when the nymphs are departed, and I can show you something different than either your shadow striding before you or behind you. Now don't look at me. I know I'm talking funny. <laughs> oh, just look out at Knuffis, the coyote star. See how bright it is. See how it fits against the sky. Watch carefully. There, I moved it. Just two degrees. Be calm, babe, be calm. You're not seeing things. I just moved the star. Well, about 300 years ago I moved it. Oh, ten light years or so towards the sidereal. The light <laughs> just got here in this moment for you. When you are sad about the path of the universe and your silly boyfriend was talking some nonsense, it's okay. Everything is okay. It's... <laughs> oh, it's just that I'm not from around here. Not human, of course. I'm from the dark places where unseen things sleep. Where not dreams bloom up and make stars explode and light runs away in fear. I exist in space and time. 
but only casually. Oh, sweetie, no. This isn't what I really look like. I picked this form to get, well, to get close to you. Because I was grateful. <sighs> Not long after we started dating, well, you made me feel so much better about my own problems. So I started dating you. <laughs> I know. It's a circle. No, oh, and I want you to know that a lot of things that look like downward spirals are... Well, they're actually big, squiggly circles. And it comes around again. And again. And again. And the best parts are always there. Never erased. Never forgotten. Always coming up again. Just around the corner. This is one of those times. I know it turns out all right because I waited for the fortunate circumstances. Ah, but it still makes me giddy and uh, nervous. I spend a lot of attention here. And when we first met. Oh, and when I got to hold our child for the first time. I love you. I want to share my everything with you. Yeah, I know you were going to propose to me. <laughs> That's what made the stars right tonight. Ah, but you still haven't done it. You could change your mind. Free will is an illusion. The wheel of time is flat to those with eyes to see. Ah, uh, but it's still you deciding. So, think about it. Take your time. Ah, uh, and I won't be easy. No, I'll never be able to relate to you in quite the way you want. And sometimes, honestly, that breaks my heart. But I don't want anyone else. My humors are like a labyrinth, and I'm far from perfect. Nobody, not in all of space and time. Mm -hmm. Come closer under my shadow. Mm -hmm. Allure calls mm -hmm. me. Will you answer? I... I want to show you something. Something... Mm, closer to the real me. A metaphor. A costume. That's more like how I am outside of the moment. And if the sleeper was afraid, who then would fix the stars? Okay. Hmm. Here it goes. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. I know, I know, it's a lot. <sighs> the tentacles. A hundred tongues to smell the colors from outer space. The eyes. Yeah, all over my arms. My forehead. I... I guess they're a color that uh, doesn't exist. The creepy crawlies up your spine are doors in the universe's thin places. Please, um, please, could you touch my cheek? 
Could you smile like you smiled at me before? I'm kind of freaking out. Please say something. All eternity can fit in the blink of an eye. And with so many of mine, I've lost too much already. And in this dreadful moment, I give up nothing. Heart racing, I forget the grooves we move in. A desperate bid to push away the not dreams. The possibilities frighten me. You... Ah, uh, you still think I'm cute. Creation could be saved. Do you... do you really? Please tell me. I want to know. Well, yeah. I always imagined myself with slender fingers. I think they, um, fit me. And they fit in your hand, too. Blessed rain over the wasteland. Uh, do you, um, do you want to touch my tentacles? They're important. Um, sort of how I feel the world around me. How I've wanted to feel you. Oh, but I didn't want to be intrusive. Treasured one. Beloved. The mirror person. Oh, your skin is delicious. Mm. Smelling your clothing, feeling your hands hold me. Sometimes I, I want to wrap all around you, to crawl in through your ears when you sleep, and to give you the sweetest dreams. And I know I'd have to pretend to be human, just so that you could be well-adjusted. Oh, and for us to have relationships with your parents and your friends. Yeah, <laughs> that's all okay. Mm, but just for this moment, to hug you and to feel you all over. I'd meet you halfway, any way I can. I... I... Really? Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. A fractally infinite number of times. Yes. Mm-hmm. The pact is sealed. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I... Well, I knew you'd come around. Oh. But you know. It's so easy to get caught up in the moment. The stars are bright. Hey, if you've reached this point in the video, 
and have not already subscribed, please take a moment to do so. I really appreciate it.